What's up, YouTube? This is John, back with another episode of Engineering Awesome. And today, I want to show you guys my new toy. It is a 40-watt CO2 laser, commonly referred to as the K40 laser. Let's take a closer look at it. So let's do a brief introduction to the K40 laser. What is a K40 laser? This is a 40 watt CO2 laser. It's one of the cheapest lasers that you can get to jump into doing this hobby. So this unit always comes from China. Now there are some people that resell it here in the United States, but don't be fooled. If they are coming from the United States, it is still a Chinese made laser but there are a couple of variations on that Chinese laser, this being one of them, So obviously. So there is a blue unit. The blue unit typically comes with an LCD screen here that you can kind of adjust the power. I wasn't interested in that because the power setting is supposed to not work very well. This unit comes with a current meter and it works phenomenally. I can tell exactly what I'm cutting at and it really helps me dial in the cut. I've already made a couple of dots on this so that I know exactly where I want to engrave, where I want to cut. Uh, and it's worked very, very well. One of my gripes is that a lot of the screws are stripped out. In fact, the one that goes back here so that you can take a look at the CO2 tube was definitely stripped out. I had to drill it out. Um, I can tell just by looking in here on the bed that a lot of those screws are stripped out as well. They're gonna require drilling out when it's time to replace that. So, this unit right now is 100% stock. I have made mo no modifications to the physical unit. The only thing I have changed is that instead of using the coral draw and laser draw or whatever those two programs are that are definitely bootleg and come with the system, I'm actually using K40 Whisper. So, for those of you that don't know, K40 Whisper basically just overwrites the drivers that you have on your computer so that you can use their control software and it works really well at least so far in my experience so all I do is boot that up initialize laser and then you can unlock the rail and move it around to where you need to hit a test fire and you know exactly where you're cutting there's a lot of tutorials out there so I'm not going to go too far into uh, how K40 Whisperer works just suffice to say it's been excellent thus far so if you need a new control package, I highly recommend it. It is free, so there's that as well. Now these units, as I believe I already mentioned, are very cheap. This unit was just over 300 bucks. I will link one down below that you can get from Amazon. It will be one of these red units. That being said, it may come in a little bit different from what uh, the description is. There's so many variations of this that I don't think even the, the suppliers know what they're getting if they're a USA dealer. So you may get something a little bit different than what the picture is or, or even what some of the reviews say. But I'll go ahead and link it. Just know that you should be able to get just about any one of these moving without much concern. So inside here, when I got this, I was really worried. How hard is it going to be to line up? How's everything going to work? Is it going to move right? Yeah, I haven't had any issues. In fact, the lenses were even aligned right off the bat. So let's go ahead and take a test cut. And I will kind of explain while it's cutting a few of the things that I plan on doing with it. The workpiece is in here and lined up exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and test fire it. All right, let's try that. So as we cut here, you're going to notice that there's a lot of smoke. Uh, there's definitely some char. Most of that should be repaired by using air assist. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to 3D print a little nozzle up, and it's going to spray down on the workpiece. And I'm going to put a regulator outside of the unit, run some air hose and quick connects to it so that I can just hook it up to my air compressor for now, and we'll just see how that works. Eventually, I do plan to mount a small air pump to this unit and see if I can get that to work properly at least as well as what I'm going to uh, use here and that should help a lot with that major complaint. Now the next complaint that I've got with this unit is that not all of the space is utilized properly. So 
the air vent is in the way, which is really weird. I, I don't know why you would do that. There's also an end stop as the head moves towards us that is in the way, and that end stop is a piece of tubing. So I'm gonna cut about an inch off of it, and I think that I might be able to get somewhere around 12 by 12 out of this laser, which would just be incredible. So that's what we're gonna try and do next, but I wanted to show you guys how this laser was cutting, how it worked, and you know, show you this test video of the laser actually cutting so that you would have an idea, modificationless, how one of these performs. And I was incredibly surprised. I've already cut three millimeter balsa wood. I've been cutting this 1.6 balsa wood. I've even cut up to quarter inch plywood with it, which is ultimately what I'm hoping to do. This has got OEM lenses in it, and it still works very well. So that's going to be it for the K40 introduction. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure that if you guys do have any questions at all that you comment down below. I'll be sure to get back with you. And if you guys have any suggestions on modifications, I would love to hear them. I'm still brand new to this game. So any help is definitely welcome. I will see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.